Okay, now let's look at a demo about how to migrate one Linux server to the Alibaba cloud. So because we don't have a real physical server, so I will use another region, uh, ECS server and the original server. And I will migrate it from uh, one region to another region. So firstly, let's download the Alibaba cloud migration tools. You can find all the information from this page. If you search from the Alibaba Cloud, uh, you can search, uh, go to Aliyun Client. So it will lead you to this page. Okay. And from here, there's uh, one of the link called the Migration 2 package. You can uh, just copy the link. And firstly, let me log into the original Linux server. Okay, let's see. I already has this um, zip file. It's called Alibaba Cloud Migration 2 here. And I already unzip it. After you unzip it, you got four zip files. Um, Based on the Linux infrastructure, you see we are 64 uh, architect. So I unzip this one and got this directory. What do you need to, to, to do is to go to this directory. Then you will see uh, some of the files here. Uh, the one you need to uh, operate on is uh, this file the user config that uh, JSON file. And you can see uh, already fill in the necessary information about uh, the access ID. Uh, this is your user ID, which you are going to create the destination image uh, with that kind of access uh, capability. And the architecture, the similar as I just mentioned. And image name, you can just name it uh, as uh, anything which is not duplicated with any existing uh, image name. Because my existing Linux is a CentOS, I put the platform CentOS. Uh, I want to move uh, the migrate this instance from Singapore to US Silicon Valley. So I use this region ID, the US West one. And a screen ID, because I, I tried this uh, once, so the screen, uh, screen uh, was uh, actually encrypted. So now let's do just one thing. Um, usually you need to change mode uh, for the command um, to give it executable uh, privilege. I do this one. Now let's execute this command directly. You say uh, tools is trying to uh, create the VPC we switch. Now it's going to create uh, the instance. So it should be able to see this uh, from the console. You see one of the instances is already uh, going to be created. And because it is a instance, it has to be started because this tool is going to sync everything from the original server to the target server. So it needs to uh, put this uh, server up Then you say it's uh, it's running and they are trying to test everything and after the test was done, it will begin to synchronize uh, everything from the original server to the destination. Now you say it takes uh, several uh, second, seconds to 
actually sync everything to the destination instance. And now it's going to prepare to create the image. Uh, when the image was creating, it should be the instance should be uh, stopped. So you can see the instant uh, itself was stopped. And uh, now the snapshot is ongoing and you can go to the snapshot part uh, to check this. See, uh, one of the snapshot was uh, was creating. Okay, now you see the system disk snapshot from the destination side was finished. And you, if you go to check the instance, uh, you will find the instance was gone uh, because uh, it has finished its job. So it is doesn't not it to be existing. It's just a temporary instance. And now if you go to the images part, uh, you will see the image was actually created. Okay, now you can uh, just create your instance based on this image. Also from the client side, you see uh, the command uh, successfully finished. It's saying the create image successful and everything done and it takes almost uh, 42 minutes. Okay, this is the uh, end of the this demo. Uh, through this demo, uh, you learn how to just download our go to Arduino client tools and with a little bit of uh, customized configuration like the access key and the destination region, the destination image name, uh, and also the source, operating system types, architecture, those kind of very simple information. Uh, you can uh, quickly uh, automatically to deploy your destination image based on the source. Okay, thank you for the watching. See you next time.